everyone, welcome back to the new PPC. This is the third video in our presentation of showing you how we do search marketing that has made us thousands and thousands of dollars. In the last video, we showed you how we do market research and uh, we showed you the market that we found. It was the tattoo market. And in this video, what we're gonna do is expand in that market and do a bit of keyword research. And uh, find, we basically broke down the keywords that we found to be the most profitable. Uh, we're going to show you that, and there's going to be uh, there's obviously a lot more keywords that you could drill into, but we're showing you the top. I think it was the top five. Is that right, Amish? Yeah, I think we were at the top five keywords, and um, you know what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump right in and um, show you what we're doing. So I guess um, the point of today's video is um, you know structuring campaigns and how important that is. Um, we want to show you how to structure your AdWords campaign to maximize um, quality score on Google and on Yahoo and MSN just to be very organized and actually um, Yahoo is coming out with a quality score as well with their new interface. But we're going to concentrate on the old interface for now. Exactly. Grouping is absolutely essential while doing this. Exactly. Grouping is very essential and we're actually going to show you how to silo or theme your ad groups and campaigns and your keywords. Um, we're going to go through settings and uh, other things like that. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I want to show you, I'm not sure if many people are familiar with this, I just want to show you something in ClickBank. Now it says, how do I add a tracking ID, TID, to a hoplink? And so what they do is they show you an example. This is your affiliate code. This is the publisher code. Um, hop, ClickBank, TID. TID equals XXXXX. Now, lots of actions. What that pretty much means is that you can put anything there, and your tracking code for you is exactly what it is. It's a tracking code. Now we're going to show you right now. I'm going to jump right into the keywords that we found, and the markets that we found, and why we're picking these keywords. And we actually made an Excel spreadsheet for this, which is what we usually do um, for every single campaign that we run. Except this one is a little more broken out for you. I'm going to go to the main one. Mm -hmm. And so we have over here, we have campaign and ad group. So again, as Larry mentioned before, this, 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 and this, these are just our ad groups and these are just touching the surface of the tattoo market. The tattoo market is huge, as we said before. And um, we're just gonna jump right in right now. So the first one is tattoo designs. All right, now let's go through this. Tattoo designs we got over here. This is the campaign level. This is the ad group level. Um, the things in the white boxes are, we're going to get into a little bit later. These are the keywords, and this is actually going to be, let me just type this in for you, the TID. So where, where you saw the X's, the numbers that you see in that column, you're going to be replacing those X's depending on the keyword. So American Tattoo Designs will be replaced with TID1. Exactly. And so uh, that's going to be for, for monitoring uh, keyword conversion. Yep, yep. And so I just want to show you a little bit of details, uh, detail about tattoo design. Um, the max bid is $0.22. Cents. The estimated daily search is 2748 just on Google. A monstrous amount of traffic. Yeah, just, just for that one term. Um, Estimated monthly search is 82,000. Estimated daily clicks, if you have the top position in AdWords, is 41 clicks a day. The demographic information, which we pulled from MSN, is that it's oriented towards females. The age group is between 18 and 24. The percentage of males to females is 39 to 61. Now, the max bid we actually just got from Overture, which I'm going to show you right now. There we go. Um, we showed you in the last video how you can do this, and it's Tattoo Design. We just type that in here, and we actually show here Tattoo Design, shop eBay. Now, if you want to shop eBay for tattoo designs, probably not. Um, maybe this, this person probably does convert, but not that well, I wouldn't think. And he's bidding 22 cents, and the person underneath him is bidding 10 cents. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a little trick about Overture. It doesn't work with everyone else, but it definitely works with Overture. This person's bidding 22 cents. This person is bidding 10 cents. Now, 
if we were to jump in the game and we were to use that 1% rule um, and we were getting paid, I believe it was $17, approximately $17 per sale mm -hmm. for the tattoo um, website. So, you know, let's just say the max we want to bid is 17 cents and we want to put this guy out of business. We can bid 21 cents. Now, a lot of you are thinking, like, why would you bid 21 cents? Well, the reason for bidding 21 cents is, in Overture, you will never pay a cent more than the person underneath you. Yeah, it's really important to know. So, what we're doing right now is we're pretty much jamming this person.